I don't know how much more we have to say or do to alert people to the fact that the face of this country is changing dramatically and we are asleep at the wheel. There's a lot of talk this morning about WikiLeaks and national security. What is food security if it's not national security? And yet, if you care to look at maps of Queensland and New South Wales in particular, prime agricultural land or prime urban consolidated land is now being overrun by mining exploration leases. Tonight on Channel 7, there will be a report on what we talked about yesterday, this whole Camden issue. The journalist concerned is Sean Berry. He's on the line. Sean, good morning. Yeah, good morning, morning, Alan. How are you? Well, thank you. Now, what have, what have you done? The, the issue here is, amongst other things, not just where it is, but what we're being told about what is happening. Well, uh, many of your listeners may be surprised, but it's, it's very likely coming to a suburb near Bam. It's, Bam. it's definitely moving into Campbelltown. There's an application for at least 72 wellheads backing up onto suburbs in Campbelltown. They're looking to move into other parts of the city as well. Um, I'm sorry, you're going to have to say that again. You see, I, I'm just disturbed that people just are, we're asleep at the wheel. Sean, just say, because I'm tired of saying it, say that again slowly. Okay, 72 wellheads. Yeah. Uh, there is an application before the government. AGL wants to put 72 wellheads in the hills just next to Campbelltown. Some of these within 200 metres of houses. Some of them will be in huddles of six. There'll be lots of work. There'll be mines going down and going straight, also straight under the suburbs of Campbelltown, you see. The, the whole area that they want to extract the gas, it, it's not just on the outskirts in this particular instance of Campbelltown, it's all the way under, at least two kilometres underground they can go, and, and they're looking at covering the entire entire CBD of Campbelltown. It's, it's close to my heart. I, I grew up there, Alan. Look, well, I'm, yeah, you grew up there. I grew up in Western Queensland at Dolby, and I've been telling my listeners, you go to Dolby now at night time, you're talking about 70 wells, in Dolby, we're talking about thousands, and at night time, it's like Las Vegas. The lights are on, and it is permanent. Coal seam gas wells, without any analysis whatever, without any environmental analysis of the process. Now, what the Department of Planning here in New South Wales will say, and I assume you're going to allude to some of this tonight, is, oh, well, don't worry about this P BTEX. BTEX is a chemical, uh, not a chemical, it's a group of chemicals, benzene, toluene, ethyl benzene and xylenes, and these are naturally occurring chemicals. And many of them have significant, very significant byproducts and consequences, and they can make you sick. I mean, many people are exposed to small amounts of BTX compounds in the air or at work at home, but if you're exposed to high levels of these things, they can cause larger exposures, can cause all sorts of problems. Now, they are saying, the Department of Planning, no, 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 BTEX is not used during fracking, but I think what you'll be saying, will you not, that these chemicals are a component of diesel fuel, and diesel is used in the drilling process. Well, well, that's right. Publicly, they say, you know, we, we don't use these chemicals in fracking. The, the, the department agrees with that. But we got our hands on this uh, amazing internal memo between senior government planners saying, well, hold on, you'd, I've never heard of these chemicals ever being used in fracking. The, the risk is when they drill these holes. And um, in, in the words in this memo, it says that uh, the, the gas company is strangely silent on what they'll be using in their dr drilling chemicals. So perhaps fracking in terms of chemicals will be safe, but you know there, there are real concerns at, at a very high government planning level that, uh, that they may use these chemicals just run-of-the-mill drilling these 72 holes. OK, just come back to this a very important point. Uh, I just hope people understand where we are here. I just think we're off the planet here in terms of giving absolute priority to all of this. The Department of Planning document says, and I quote, I note this commitment appears to be silent in respect of drilling fluids. That is the commitment that they have ever used BTEX during fracking. BTEX is not one chemical, it's a group of chemicals, benzene, toluene, ethyl benzene and xylenes. Now, exposure to these can be have all sorts of associated byproducts, skin irritation, the central nervous system, tiredness, dizziness, headaches, effects on the respiratory system, and on top of all of this, prolonged exposure can affect the kidney, the liver, the blood systems. This is BTEX, not a chemical, four of them, benzene, toluene, ethyl benzene and xylene. So AGL said, well, hang on, 
Hang on, they've told the Department of Planning in New South Wales, we've never used BTEX during fracking. But however, it is known by the Department of Planning that BTEX chemicals, those four, are a component of diesel fuel. And indeed, the Department of Planning says, and I quote, diesel is used as a base for many water slash oil emulsion drilling fuel fluids, which act to cool the drill bit, provide lubrication, and act as a carrier for drill chips. Diesel-based drilling fluids are common. Thus, it is the drilling process, rather than the fracking process, which may quite commonly introduce diesel, and therefore amounts of BTEX chemicals, into the subsurface and or the aquifer. So here we have them saying, oh, we don't do it in the fracking, Sean, but in fact it is in the drilling that we ought to be concerned and no one's got any understanding of what commitment they've got to that. Well, that's right, Alan. And how many how many of these wells have been drilled across New South Wales, across across Australia? The, the numbers would be staggering and, and these wells are also being drilled through aquifers. Um, and that, that is the big concern. Uh, That's our water. One of the wells in water. Sydney is being put down right next to one yep. of the main water supply yep. canals that, uh, you know, 50% of Sydney get their drinking water from. So, yep. you know, it's a real concern. It's, it's a sort of new, new, new concern in this, this whole situation with coal seam gas mining. Absolutely. And if you went today as part of your story for Channel 7 tonight on the news at Channel 7, if in part of your story you said, well, look, I'll just go to a government department which will be able to give me the latest audited figures of how many licences have been issued, how many wells are contemplated, when they're contemplated, the information doesn't exist. Well, it, it, it's very hard to get, and I've spoken to people who are going to be living within a couple of hundred metres of these wells, with some of them potentially going under the foundations of their houses, and they have no idea. So None whatever. They Good can't find out. It, it, it's very tricky, this one. Very tricky indeed. Good to talk to you, and that's tonight on the Channel 7 News. That's right. Thank you most you. probably need half an hour on it. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, Sean. Sean Berry, Channel 7. That's tonight. It's just unbelievable. You see, and I've got a document here from the Department of Planning and in relation to this BTX stuff, no environmental analysis of this at all. And tomorrow, i got to say, I'll just rock your socks off. When are we going to wake up? We're talking about WikiLeaks here and leaking documents about who is a potential terrorist and who isn't may threaten our national security. Does the absence of food and the destruction of prime agricultural land threaten our food security? What does anyone out there know about BTEX? Wouldn't have a clue. Ross is here in front of me, smart, shaking his shoulders. Don't know. No one tells me anything. Ross lives out there. Does he know? Can he go along and say, well, I heard that interview this morning. This is my address, 15 Reeves Street, Castle Hill. Can I just look up uh, on a, there's a website here. Comfort, read, no, no maps here. Can't check it. No one has got a clue. These people are just running over the top of us. This is AGL.